Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll examine Miss Shiori Ito's words and deeds from April 4th after she left Sheraton Miyako Hotel where she alleges to have been raped. If you haven't checked my previous videos, please check them first. At 5.51 a.m., she left the Sheraton Miyako Hotel. The footage of the security camera at that time was leaked on the internet. Around 7.40 a.m., Mr. Yamaguchi checked out the hotel. He asked the front desk to keep the bag which Miss Ito had brought mistakenly from another customer of the sushi restaurant the night before. Then he called her about the bag from a taxi. She answered, and they had a brief conversation normally. At 2.05 p.m., Miss Ito went to a OBGYN called Eek Omotsando Clinic to receive morning after pill. In her book, she says the clinic was full of appointments, but she told the clinic it was an emergency. A female doctor, around 40 years old with short hair, was typing a prescription at the computer screen and said without even looking up, when did you fail? Miss Ito says if the doctor had asked her what's the matter, it would have been different. I searched Ik Omotisando clinic and I found a female doctor who matches the description of the book about the appearance, Dr. Takao. I checked her website and her Twitter, and I see how vigorously she works as a gynecologist, a sports doctor, and a maternal yoga instructor. She doesn't look like a cold doctor who prescribes emergency pills without even looking at the patient's face, as Miss Ito wrote. The medical records of Ik Omotesando Clinic say, coitus, sexual intercourse, around 2 to 3 a.m., the condom got broken. At the trial, Miss Ito claimed she hadn't said that to the doctor and that she answered she'd had sexual intercourse early in the morning. One of the uh, medical reports, which is the one I got um, morning after pill from a gynecologist. Um, and in, within in this report, it says that I, I was, um, I had intercourse two to three in the morning and the condom was broken mm -hmm. and these two things or nothing I have said to them to to this doctor what I say to her is that um, I, I actually didn't say anything sh because this this gynecology I, is just I want it was only they take only reser under reservation on the reservation on the reservation so I, I beg them that I it's emergency I need to go in and then once I get into the consulting room she, all she said was what time did it fail? And I said, early morning. And that was it. That was the only conversation. And we never discussed about condom ever. So therefore, um, the judge decided this is um, um, this um, report wasn't accurate. According to the reviews on the internet, the doctors in Ik Omotesando are very kind and they explain things very well. Would a doctor write such information in medical records on emergency pill prescriptions where the time of sexual intercourse is very important? Also, 2 to 3 a.m. matches exactly the time of sexual intercourse in Mr. Yamaguchi's claim. According to her book, she went to a Hawaiian cafe with her sister after visiting the clinic, then took a nap while her sister did her homework in her room. That night, she went to a cherry blossom party with her friends. Later, her sister joined, they went home before midnight. At 2.19 p.m., April 5th, Miss Ito messages to S, a nurse and a childhood friend, via LINE app. Miss Ito says she thought of date rape drug when she was thinking alone. She looked it up online and the symptoms matched her own. So she sent a message to S, a nurse, out of uncontrollable anxiety. At night, she went to a family dinner of her close friend, Kay, which she had promised to go from before. Her knee started hurting. She stayed at Kay's parents' house that day. At 11.26 a.m. April 6th, the nurse friend S replied via line. Her book says, Kay recommended me to visit Motoya Orthopedic Surgery in the neighborhood. 
I couldn't say I was raped by an acquaintance, so I said I was in a weird position at work. Maybe it's because I used to play basketball in the past. The doctor said, Your knee is dislocated because of severe impact. It's hard to do an operation, it takes a long time to heal. I spent the next few months wearing a brace. In reality, the medical certificate says internal injury and contusion on the right knee. And she explained to the doctor that she had been sitting in a weird position on March 31st. She could lie about the reason, but there's no reason to lie about the date of the injury. The book continues I told Kay about the results of the diagnosis. I couldn't bring up the rape story in front of Kay and her family, who seemed happy for the news they heard at the dinner the previous day. After visiting the orthopedic surgery, the book says she met the nurse friend S and told her about the incident for the first time. However, it was actually April 7th, the next day, that she met with S. I'm not sure if it's a simple mistake or some kind of attempt of image manipulation. In reality, Ms. Ito replied to S by a line on that day. At 11 1 p.m. that night, about 66 hours after the alleged rape occurred, Ms. Ito sent an email to Mr. Yamaguchi. Mr. Yamaguchi, お疲れ様です。Did you return to Washington safely? What actions are you considering about the visa? I'd appreciate it if you could tell me about your plan. In the book, she says that she wanted to forget, and if she acted as if she had forgotten, she thought everything might be back to normal. But the highlighted red part of the email is, again, omitted. Did she think it would look bad to say, お疲れ様です、Thank you for your hard work, to the man who she claims to have raped her? At the trial, Ms. Ito's lawyers tried to justify this email, saying, Many sexual victims take a compliant stance to the assailants so as not to worsen their relationships. But the email basically saying that, I want you to tell me what you will do about my visa as soon as possible. It's not really compliant, it's rather demanding. On April 7th, Ms. Ito met her nurse friend S. They went to IKEA together, and she told about the incident at the cafeteria for the first time. According to the book, Ms. Ito was pale and shaking. Her hands were cold with sweat. They both cried together. S grew up with Ms. Ito. When Ms. Ito drank alcohol the first time, she was there. So she knows how much Ms. Ito can drink and knows her character. S says, I don't think you would drink that much at a business dinner with your superior. S also lived in New York around the same time as Ms. Ito, and they talked about the possibility of date rape drug. Ms. Ito said she should have called 110, police call center, from the hotel. Then the two wondered whether they should go to the police station from there. The nurse friend S's testimony is browsable as a court document. S says she regretted that she should have called 110 from the hotel room because there was little objective evidence other than her own testimony in this kind of closed room case where there was no third party's testimony. We wondered whether to go to the police together, but she was still hesitating because of her job, so we just went home on that day. If she regrets not calling the police from the hotel, then why not call from IKEA? It just doesn't make sense to me. Mr. Yamaguchi didn't reply to Ms. Ito's email. The book says while she had not received any emails from Mr. Yamaguchi, she realized maybe there hadn't been such fact that she had been assigned a producer. She was so frustrated and sad and thought he might be treating her as object. She took a break from work telling them her knee hurt. She then decided to go to the police. As you see in the pre incident emails between Ms. Ito and Mr. Yamaguchi, it is clear that she had not been assigned the position of producer. Although they were omitted from the book, Ms. Ito herself said, The visa is the difficult part to deal with, and I'm glad I can have some hope. This indicates that she was aware of the fact that she had not been officially assigned. Her book says, She met her best friend K and another friend R before going to police. And told them that she might have been quasi raped. Our once quit her job for sexual harassment and made the harasser apologize but later lost the trial. At the recommendation of Karen R, she decided to send another email to Mr. Yamaguchi on the spot. Ms. Ito didn't want to remember him, so mostly Karen R wrote the email. She met the nurse friend S on April 7th and went to the police on the 9th. So, according to the book, she's supposed to have met Karen R on April 8th. 
But the second email, which she said mostly K and R wrote, was actually sent on April 14th. I think the date Miss Ito told K and R about the incident is April 14th. First, the second email, which was sent on 14th, was apparently written by someone other than Miss Ito. I'll explain this later. Second, Miss Ito went to the police by herself on the 9th. This is weird considering her best friend K's profession and personality. I won't disclose it so much to protect K's privacy, but K would have definitely accompanied Miss Ito to police if she knew. In the evening of April 9th, Miss Ito went to Harajuku police alone to report the damage. She cried, almost hyperventilated. Around 10 pm, the nurse friend S came to pick her up at the station, and Miss Ito went back to her parents' house. Her book says on April 11th, she went to Harajuku police again and met Mr. A, a police investigator at Takanawa Police. Mr. A says, It's been a week, it's difficult, it's a common story, and there's not enough evidence. Miss Ito says, Please check out the security camera at the hotel. She told her family about the incident. Her mother shook with anger and said, I'm going to kill him. Her father told her to be angrier. However, Miss Ito strangely couldn't feel anger toward Mr. Yamaguchi from that time, and her complaints were directed at the police, the hotline centers for the victims, and the hospitals. The police also said, You have to cry more or get angrier. You must act like a victim. She wrote herself that only two days ago, on April 9th, she cried almost hyperventilated. At Harajuku police when she claimed the damage. Also, in the email conversation with Mr. Yamaguchi, especially in the omitted parts which will be shown later, she intensely blamed him. If that's not anger, then what is? You will soon see and judge for yourself. On April 14th, Ms. Ito emailed Mr. Yamaguchi. The book says, as I mentioned earlier, her friends wrote on behalf of Ms. Ito. They decided to act modestly, apologize for her swearing, and tell him that she was confused so that they could draw out words of apology. This email is also omitted from the book. Otsukare sama desu. Last time I didn't know what to do, so I just emailed you like normally. But I couldn't get it off my mind. The other day when I woke up, I was in the hotel, and then that happened. I was so shocked that I swore at you, but what did you mean when you said that I had passed? I trusted you so much. Could you reply to me? I'm sorry to bother you when you're busy. Does this email seem like it's trying to draw out an apology? No matter how I read it, the subject of the email seems, What do you mean by I've passed? asking about her work as in the previous email. It sounds modest superficially, but really it's threatening him for a working visa, saying, We had sex, didn't we? or You said I passed, didn't you? Note that this was surely written by her friends K and R because Miss Ito uses small circles instead of dot 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 when using dots in the sentences. Mr. Yamaguchi immediately replied this time. Well, I don't remember being sworn at at all. Currently, I'm talking to the TBS International Headquarters in New York about what kind of patterns can exist to hire you. In order to hire you as a producer from the beginning, it will be increasing the staff of the branch office, so we have to make a new budget. The bar will be lower if you start working as an intern. As for the visa, in order to support you to acquire the visa as a producer, you will need to come here first and have an official interview. In effect, you'll pass, but then you have to return to Tokyo and have your visa posted on your passport in the US Embassy. For interns, no interview is necessary. This is also a difference in American law based on whether or not to pay salaries. In any case, I am currently negotiating with the new president of New York. Please wait for a while. In response to this reply, Ms. Ito says in the book that it was too bad that it didn't have words of apology and only talked about business. The email is certainly business like. This is consistent with the business like tone of Mr. Yamaguchi in front of the camera at the press conference held after the civil ruling in December 2019. I don't want to attack her personality. This is my honest feeling. But this case is going to the matter of credibility. So that's why I'm saying this. I hope you can understand that I'm telling my true feeling. But I think she's. More or less, kind of habitual liar. 
What's not consistent is the words the book Black Box claims he said the last time he was with her. He sounded like nothing but a perverted old man saying, "I really like you. I want to take you to Washington as soon as possible. You've passed. Let me keep your panties as a souvenir. You looked like a competent woman, but now you're like a lost child. So cute." But in his first replying email, he didn't say anything perverted. If he was a totally perverted, dirty old man, as Miss Ito claims, he would be likely to say disgusting things like, "You look so cute even when you were swearing at me," or "I can't forget that night," or "Do you wear my T-shirt every day?" In regard to the T-shirt he lent her. In reality, however, it's the exact same business-like tone that he had at the conference, and it always remains calm and logical in the subsequent email messages, and it never changes. In the next video, we'll continue to examine Miss Ito's words and deeds after the incident.